Good to see Good you. Good to sir. see you, Papa. Thank Good you. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. For You're blessed. Me. Thank you. And um, so you understand the power of breaking locks off of a person's soul because a lock could happen on someone's soul just over time. Mm -hmm. Meaning like over time they, they are doing something for God, but there are things that they could be missing. Mm -hmm. wow. And the soul gets locked up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> unknowingly. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the person is obeying God in some aspects, but there are some pinpoint things that they're supposed to do. Mm. That when they don't do it, their soul becomes disabled from receiving mm. the next anointing, the next promotion, the next provision. Wow. So let me show you what I mean. Daniel is obeying God. He's not, he's not, you know, he's not, he's not running after the world. Mm -hmm. But something happens with Daniel. He's missing something that God wants him to do, a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And so Daniel recognizes this. He goes on a 21 day fast. Mm -hmm. And this is where he breaks the lock. Wow. Mm. Now he didn't recognize that lock before. Mm -mm. No. I'm giving you an example of a 21 day fast. God's not calling everybody to a 21 day fast. But I'm giving you an example of how we see in the scripture, we see this person is obeying God, but he's missing something that God wants. Wow. Mm -hmm. And when he denies himself, he finally sees it. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about that? How when you deny yourself, your eyes open up prophetically to actually see what is the order that God has from, from the restaurant of my life. Wow. Wow, it's so, it's so powerful. Denying yourself, it means that's the key to open up the lock which is in your soul that mm. God needs to access in your storage. Mm. When you deny yourself, you're telling God, I'm using this key to let you in and store in me what you need, what's next in this uh, season that we are in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what's your will for my life concerning my everything in my life? Mm. What do you want to take from me that is pleasing to you and satisfied when, when we are mm -hmm. together? Mm -hmm. I'm cooking I'm cooking myself mm -hmm. for you <laughs> I'm becoming that meal for you right. to enjoy Thanksgiving turkey <laughs> Thanksgiving ham <laughs> <laughs> and when somebody recognizes that they're being cooked for God the cook has a certain way that the food is supposed to come out. Mm. You notice the pasta never spoke back to you and told you, don't flip me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you notice you notice that when the man is <laughs> is flipping the pizza, you know it's the pizza that said, "Don't flip me around, like that. <laughs> don't do it again, <laughs> do it again." <laughs> you notice that food never talks back to the cook. Wow, you know. Mm -hmm. So when when the Lord is 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 cooking you, you should never have a place where you're resisting. The, 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 the produce of how he want you to come out. Mm. Wow. Because after all, he's the one partaking of the meal of your meekness. Mm. You know, so, so a person got to break the lock off of their life through recognizing I am creating an experience for God in everything that I do. My attentiveness is an experience. Mm -hmm. 
If I'm distracted, God is experiencing that. Wow. If you was to put yourself in God's shoes, it would change your perspective. If you was God and God was you and the Lord did all that he does for you, he's patient with you, he's loving to you, he's caring to you, He's teaching you, investing in you. How would you feel if you were God and you looked at the person you was doing that to in there, they're not on fire. Mm -hmm. They're not reaching that pinpoint instruction. They're not detecting. Because, son, you know, people go, People go day by day and never recognize that God wants something from them. Wow. Mm -hmm. All the time. Wow. And for Daniel to finally recognize, hey, oh shoot, God don't want me to eat the king's meals. Mm -hmm. God doesn't want me to have no fellowship with what the young men are eating. Wow. For him to recognize that, that takes a lot of focus and dedication. And it takes sincerity. Mm. So and I was watching a, a, a show. And a, a, a girl said, I am a believer of Jesus in Jesus Christ. Then she went on to say that she was married. She said that she goes to the bars. And she uses her beauty to get drinks. She began to profess about all the stuff that she does. She says that she could go to a restaurant and give them. She just flirt with the person and they give her free food. Wow. But her first statement was this. I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That was what she said boldly. I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Wow. <clears throat> so the person that was listening to her said this to her. The person asked her, do she consider herself manipulative, like a con person, like a person with unintegrity? And she said, no, I consider myself genuine. This is what she says. Sir. I consider myself genuine. Wow. I consider myself a good person. Believer in Jesus Christ, manipulating people for meals, mm -hmm. manipulating people for drinks, getting intoxicated. And then she says, I believe that I'm genuine. Mm -hmm. wow. I believe that I'm a good person. Wow. So in her mind, she hasn't reached anywhere that the Holy Spirit wants from her as a person. Mm -hmm. wow. But she does not see it. Everybody else sees it but her. And she's okay with that. Wow. Son, the reason why God calls people to be a friend is because he doesn't have many friends. Wow. Mm -hmm. And in this life, you have to join yourself and make it your aim. <laughs> make, it, make, make it. Make it. Make it your focus. <laughs> Make it your target. Everybody has to come to the place where they say, I'm dealing with a God that doesn't have friends, people that don't care whether or not they're reaching 
the status of his standard. Mm -hmm. Imagine there's people that don't care whether or not God smiles over their choices. Wow. They don't care. Mm. It's not something that triggers them. Mm. Wow. So when David found out that God was angry at how he dealt with Bathsheba's situation, he killed her husband, put him at the front of the battle, and he dies on purpose. David knew what he was doing. He wanted to kill him. David went on a seven-day fast. And when they brought the food out to him, he refused to take it. David wanted to see God experience his love, his genuine desire to please him and be a friend to him. There are not many people like that in our generation. Mm -hmm. When we talked about coronavirus, when I prophesied that virus, I said that um, the spirit of disinterest was the reason why this plague will come. Mm -hmm. And I said demons came up with masks on the face. This was before we had any CDC, any mask mandate, any uh, announcements. Saints, I don't know if you remember. Remember I prophesied about Wendy Williams way before she ever experienced that. And when Wendy Williams really did get replaced, like I said. I, I, t I told you that I saw her brain going and, and she getting judged and stuff like that because of her spirit of strife, how she talk about people, how she, how she gossiped. That it was gonna, it was it was gonna backfire. That's why the spirit of strife is so dangerous, because they'll come back to get you. Wow. Mm -hmm. The spirit of strife don't have no friends. And saints, she's literally not on TV no more. Wow. And when she tried to come back, they they blocked her. I told you those things before they ever happened. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the Spirit of the Lord wanted you to hear that is just a word of knowledge to confirm. Mm -hmm. A word of knowledge mixed with prophecy. Wow. Because we're dealing with this is something to come mm -hmm. so that you can know the Lord is truly amongst us. Yes. Wow. So son, when, when, when the Spirit of God is, is looking for friendship, he rarely finds it. Mm -hmm. And son, the thing about it, when people have the mindset of, you know, I did wrong, but let's move on. Imagine how that feels to God. It's like, I hurt you, but you'll be all right. Go, go. It's not love. No. Wow. It's evil. Mm -hmm. And son, the, there's a dangerous thing that happens with the soul of people is that people want to go past an error that they commit. They don't want to dwell there because it makes them feel bad. Wow. But God dwelt there while you were doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he felt bad while you was doing it. Wow. So your inability to confront it and let him purge you of it is like, wow. you know, it's, it's okay. So... There must be a development within you of a true worship and a true love for the Lord where even if you do miss the mark, you will dwell there enough to make the necessary corrections and see the spirit, the origin behind the, the bad decision. Mm -hmm. What empowered it before you did it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who were a part of the equation of you doing it? Wow. What did you watch before you do it? What did you dwell on before you did it? What spiritual weapon did you neglect before you sinned? Wow. Wow. What seed did you not sow? Mm. Which prayer did you not pray? Wow. Which word did you not read? Mm. Wow. Which praise did you not offer up to God? There was something that you had 
that you did not use. And if you don't take the time to dwell on it, the time will come and you won't use it when the time comes. Son, that's why we have people that do repeated cycles. They're not doing anything different. They're doing the same wrong thing. Wow. wow. Because they're not taking the time to dwell on what is making me captive to this. Mm -hmm. Son, whatever you open yourself up to becomes the invention of your temptations. Wow. Wow. Every man invents his temptations. Mm hmm by what you open yourself up to. Your temptations is simply what you open yourself up to. If you open up yourself to dishonor, you will have temptation to dishonor. If you open yourself up to lies, you'll have temptation to lie. If you open yourself up to studying the opposite sex and you desire to be with them, you want to sleep with that's what you're going to struggle with. Whatever you open yourself up to is what invents your temptations. Wow. That's a wisdom, though. Wow. <laughs> wow. You open yourself up to fear. Now you have to battle with fear for the rest of the time until you pass the test to shut fear down. Wow. Fear and stress are very toxic emotions that take your brain down movies of destruction. Wow. Mm. Wow. So what's your take on this? It's, it's, it's so powerful what you're saying, Papa. That a lot of people, like you said, they enter into cycles of doing the same thing into a lock in their souls because they don't take the time to reflect mm. in, in what they're doing or in what they're not using according to what God already equipped them with. Mm. The wisdom that you are giving us every time you come on the line, how come it's not being affected in your life? Mm -hmm. What is uh, overtaking you from all the information that your prophet is giving you to overcome every temptation that you open up yourself to? Mm. He gives you the tools. He gives you the how to do it. It, it just takes your decision, mm. whether you do it or not, whether you stick with the information. Yeah, make it your. Teach the people how to make it their aim. <laughs> because if they don't, it. You automatic son. Let me tell you, son. We had a football team. I ain't gonna call their name out, but they kept missing because the 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 field goal kicker when it make the the goal his aim. <laughs> so so a field goal kicker. If you don't understand what they do, they kick the ball. Don't do that in real life. And when they kick the ball, the ball goes up, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to go inside that 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 um arch thingy. He was missing vital kicks. Wow. And the team lost the matches. He was not aiming at the goal. There's losses that happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's losses that happen when you don't aim. <laughs> And son, here's the wild thing. In the wisdom anointing, God will have your brain play traumatic situations out before they happen. Because he's prophesying to you. Mm -hmm. So when the time comes, you will not be someone that falters and make a wrong decision. Remember, all Jesus keep on telling the disciples about the traumatic situation that's about to happen. Mm -hmm. You notice that, right? Mm -hmm. He keeps letting them know there's a traumatic situation about to happen, and after three days, I'm going to rise. There's a traumatic situation about to happen, after three days, I'm going to rise. He keeps 
preparing them. Now, remember, Jesus is the Holy Ghost today. That's his spirit. So the same way the Holy Ghost does is he tells you of things to come. He's letting you know beforehand a test. He prepares your heart. Listen, Clyde bought me this jacket here. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And see, Clyde, I went in going to get on, uh, you know, but the Spirit of God told me, put on the jacket. See, I'm about to come out like this, but then the Spirit of God, because people not saved. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they haven't made sanctification and holiness their aim. Right. They're talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> I See, Clyde got me this. Look at his royalty in here. See, Clyde got me this right here. So that's 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 what we 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 rocking the Clyde jacket today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, so this is this all the way back here. You ain't ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, skip. <laughs> You know, I can't think about this pillow because this pillow got thoughts too. Let me take this pillow off of your son because it done been. Fucking <laughs> <in> competition. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Joy is so powerful. <laughs> Joy is so powerful because one time we was playing like a game of a uh, twenty-one somewhere, and it was these good. They was good athletes, right? And I, st I started guarding this one guy, and out of nowhere, he went go dribble and shoot, and he busted out laughing. Now, before I had just came in the gym, I was already. I was already in that joy. So I asked him, I asked him, I put him on to the side. I said, why, why are you laughing? He said, I don't know. It's just like I, I, I'm getting overwhelmed <laughs> by laughter. Wow. And so I wear those wristbands on my hands that say Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's, it sparks a conversation. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's how you see me do it. Yes. Not with the Jesus bands, but you see me do it with soul in it. Mm -hmm. You get people aroused, and then you get them into the gospel. You make Jesus. <laughs> you you and son his. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you win a lot of people. <laughs> so, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think happens when? A person <laughs> oh my gosh so, you know what's funny so I was saying <clears throat> Clyde when we was in Ohio <laughs> when we was in the Ohio meeting I was praying and I, I remember the fire God was so strong. 
and Clyde was in the line just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it, cause God's power was so intense. God's power was so intense, and I remember I prayed for Clyde. Clyde went out. I prayed for Clyde again. Clyde went out, and it's amazing how the Spirit of God has portions for everybody. Everybody's portion is not the same. Everybody's portion is not to fall out. That's not the way that the Spirit of God may deal with them. Mm -hmm. It depends. And Clyde was someone that he received a heavy impartation. So it's amazing how he came back and he has sown into me. Wow. He has sown seed into me and he has sown these things into me. So I'm wearing a jacket and those things are a blessing to me because it's like I ministered to him. And he took it to heart. Wow. Mm -hmm. And to this day, he's letting the Holy Spirit speak to his heart about me. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. Come on there. Cut.